So my name's Sam Belknap, and I'm a Community Development Officer at the Island Institute in Rockland, Maine. And I run our sea level rise resilience work and also our lobster fishery work. So when it comes to defining resilience, I don't do that myself. We leave that to our communities. We define resilience the way our communities do, as their vision for the future, this, the changes that they want to see within their communities uh, to ensure a resilient future. So the Island Institute is a 36-year-old community development organization that has been supporting and sustaining Maine's island and coastal communities for uh, a long time. We work in a variety of issues, uh, some of which include direct climate change resilience work, sea level rise, ocean warming, ocean acidification. And we also work on energy efficiency and renewable energies in order to kind of mitigate the impacts of climate change and provide uh, lower energy costs to our communities. We also work on um, emerging technological issues when it comes to broadband access. So our communities can be less reliant on transportation and the emissions associated with that and more able to work from home. Our communities are facing many challenges when it comes to climate change. So many of our fishing communities are heavily reliant on the lobster fishery. And as has been reported, the Gulf of Maine is warming pretty fast. Some would say faster than most of the world's oceans. And as this water temperature changes, the species change along with it. And we're working to make sure that these communities will remain resilient given any changes in the lobster fishery, whether it's reduced, uh, reduced landings, whether it's changing in prices. Uh, and a large portion of our work is focused on helping people think about how to diversify their portfolios just beyond lobster. We don't want everything to be in the lobster basket. So some of our recent work has focused on helping island communities grapple with the challenges of sea level rise. This summer, I spent a lot of time working with Monhegan Island, which is 12 miles off the coast of Maine, and an island many people know because of its connection to the artist family, the Wyeths. And we've been working with folks on Monhegan Island around the preservation of their freshwater aquifer. They're a rocky island and fairly robust to the impacts of sea level rise, except for in one location, which is the access to their freshwater uh, aquifer. And should this be overtop, the water source for the entire community is, is going to be, be and put at risk. So we've been working with them to analyze just how to adapt to this risk and how to potentially diversify their fresh water sources throughout the island with different wells in order to mitigate some of the, the impacts of climate change. So federal partnerships and programs are key to the success of our communities when it comes to increasing their resilience. We work a lot with Maine Coastal Program and the Maine Coastal Program is funded through NOAA's Coastal Zone Management Program. And this, the support that Maine receives through NOAA and the Coastal Zone Management Program is key to providing resources to these communities, which are often understaffed, under-resourced, and have very limited time. So at the Institute, we're always looking to the future. And right now, most of my work is focusing on building a really robust network of practitioners within the state, whether they're town managers, folks at the state level, uh, folks working on community development to provide networks for communication and sharing resources across the state. So communities can recognize that they're not in this alone. They don't have to reinvent the wheel. They can be connected to other communities facing these same challenges and they can all work together uh, on their resilience.